Hey, it's Andrew here. I just got my package today from the Game Crafter, and this has my first wave of prototype cards for Runiverse, the TCG I've been working on. So I'm going to open it up. Uh, I did not order booster packs, so it's not like a pack and opening video. I just opened a bunch of the cards so that I can play the game and uh, test it out and get some friends to do the same thing, hopefully. But I want to open the box and just see how everything came out. We'll see how much drifting we got and, and stuff like that. So here we go. All right, so here's my box. And I have some scissors handy, but I only have one hand. So let's see. The box is a little crumpled, but hopefully that will not. Uh, this this one-handed deal is not gonna work. I might have to set the camera down for a second. Tape, a lot of glue, a lot of stickiness. A lot of exciting video content. A lot of irony, sarcasm rather. There we go. Nice tone sound. Ooh, wow, that is a lot of cards. Okay, so I knew I ordered a lot of cards. I ordered two of a bunch of cards and one of a bunch of cards. I knew it was going to be a lot. There's one stack. There's a second stack. And then we got a bunch of paper in the box. Bunch of, bunch of nothing. Oh, got some Hard Fight Vanguard decks over here from the new Ultra Rare Miracle Collection. A lot of shadows. I got the Bog Humbug Wizards promo card for Magic the Gathering. Anyway, back to this. So, yeah, it's a lot of cards. Okay. Let's see. How did this come out? It's kind of dark. I mean, you, you gotta expect your cards to come out dark. Let's get it out of the bag. Ooh, it's not even gonna come out of the bag, is it? Get some of these middle cards to come out first. There we go. I don't think they gen they generally don't come sorted at all, so I'm not really worried about that. Yeah, alright, we'll just take a random sampling of of what I got here. A lot of color, very nice. Game to design the game to have a lot of color. A random card. Oh, in the backs, I didn't, the backs look pretty good. Ooh, proper aspect ratio here. Very nice. Let's hear the snap. Nice snap. It's okay. It's okay, snap. I did not get the linen finish. Um. Because I don't care for linen finish, actually. But I did get the UV coating. There's a fish moat. So in case you're wondering, I did not do any of the artwork on these. Uh, I know a lot of homemade TCG creators um, are all about the artwork, and that's a big part for them. But for me, I want to make a game. So I did the graphic design, and I did the game design, and I designed the card abilities. Um, and I did all the layout and everything. The artwork is all um, from stock art packs that I found online. So I've purchased the license to use all of this artwork but I did not create any of it or commission it directly. So this guy I knew he's got his text is hard to read with because of his claw. Um, I can read it in person for the most part. I don't know how well it's coming through in the video but I'll probably I'll probably fix that for the final version. But this guy's one of the rares. You can tell from the three dots in the corner there. Uh, this is a mage card. These are kind of like lands in Magic. Uh, the mages are. Uh, you play them out and they're what you use to cast your spells basically. And they can cast things of their own faction or of the either 
the adjacent factions and they remind you at the top so this guy is part of the Quam faction which you can see down here at the bottom and then at the top you can see he's got the Quam symbol again with the Saf and Emery symbols next to it that means he can cast any cards from any of those three factions and at the top corner here is his gift so it's kind of like a trigger uh, or a miracle a trigger from Cardfight Vanguard or a miracle from Magic the Gathering um, and under certain circumstances you'll trigger that gift ability and then that's what his ability tells you he's got the vigor gift so there vigor is one of the main um, gifts all eight factions have mages with vigor gifts and draw gifts uh, here is another vigor gift but this time for the thist faction so yeah so the if it has one dot, it is a common card. All the mages right now are commons, kind of like just basic lands. Uh, a bunch of other commons like the uh, Egg of Endless Magma. And the more dots, the more rare it is. So this the vocation card is a rare. It has three dots. And here's a three tail fox, which is an uncommon. So. Anyway, I'm not going to go over like the whole game or all these cards. I'm going to have to take some time to sort them out and everything. But one thing I do want to do before I go is I made a deck list app. So for my game specifically to simulate uh, a booster pack uh, that I'll get from the Game Crafter. So let me load up my deck list app. And I'm going to come get... Basically, I designed my booster packs to uh, so that they're also decks. If you have the starting mage cards you need and the basic cards you need, you can build a deck out of just one booster pack. So uh, a booster pack simulator is also a deck simulator, a kind of a random deck. So if I hit this here, so this is a random deck list that just got generated by the app. This is an Emery deck. You can tell because uh, it's all green, mostly. And then you've got some Quam and uh, Sphene cards mixed in. I'm almost out of battery, so I'm going to go... I'm going to... This is going to be one of my first decks that I deal with. Hopefully I'll make a video, a battle video. And then let's choose uh, Opposing Faction to Emery. Emery being this one here. So let's just go straight across and uh, pick a Ruby deck. And this will be our enemy deck for a battle video. Hopefully I'll make soon. Alright, well, um, thanks for watching. Bye.